I'm going to talk to you in this video about answering the two six mark questions on the Edexcel uh, Geography B paper. The six mark question is quite a difficult one because it requires of you a little bit extra than usual. You'll see at the beginning of the six mark questions there's a tiny little asterisk and that asterisk means that the examiner is not only going to look at the knowledge that you put in your answer but also the quality of your written communication. So they're going to be looking at structure and your spelling, punctuation and grammar or SPAG. Now let me talk about structure first of all. In terms of structuring your answer, the first piece of advice I have is to take 30 seconds, a minute of the exam to actually plan out your answer. Ask for some scrap paper or use the back of your paper if you've got some uh, play, a, a blank page, use that, that's absolutely fine. But plan out what's going to go into your answer. Just bullet point it down, then work out what is the best way for me to put this information all together in an answer. Now when you're structuring the knowledge in, that you've got into your answer, my best piece of advice for you is to use PEEL, P-E-E-L. P stands for point, make your basic point. E, evidence it, or use an example of what you're talking about. Another E, explain, or develop the point further. Lastly, L, link link it into the next point you're going to make and then you have a clear structure to your answer. So point, evidence, explain, link, peel. The third thing I'm going to advise you here is to really think about the level of detail you're using. For a six mark exam question the examiner is looking for a certain level of detail. They're looking for you to be able to quote facts and figures, to give examples, to give case studies in your answer. So you need to be bringing that out rather than just talking in general terms about a theory or an idea. I've talked about spelling, punctuation and grammar. Let me tell you a bit more about that. You need to do two things. First of all, make sure you're using your keywords and you're using them effectively. Second thing, check through what you've written. Make time in the exam to check to make sure that you have spelt things correctly, that you have used proper punctuation, so capital letters, full stops. It sounds basic, it sounds simple, but you need to really think about it, particularly in these questions. And talking about making time, my advice is to do the six mark exam questions first. The first thing you do in the exam, get those done. Because if you're running out of time, you don't want to be rushing these answers. If anything, if you're running out of time, you want to leave the one mark questions till last so that you can just bullet point a few answers in there. These are the important ones, do them first. 